Hello viewers, today we'll explore the switch function to assign weightage based on priority and categorize profit ranges. We'll apply the filter function to extract specific data based on set criteria. And we'll use different sum functions to calculate total costs under different conditions. Let's break down the switch function structure. The syntax looks like this. First, expression. The reference cell, value or Boolean expression that you want to test. Second, value one. This is where the condition Excel will compare against the expression. Third, result one. The output if value one matches the expression. Similarly, value two and result two, you can continue adding as many condition result pairs as needed. Finally, default, this is optional. This is where the value returned if no matches are found. Now let's see an example. We have two columns, order ID and order priority. We will assign a weightage to each priority level using the switch function. Click on a blank cell where you want the weightage to appear. Type equal, enter switch and double click on the function. For expression, Select the order priority value, then type a comma. For value one, type high within double quotation marks. For result one, enter three. For value two, type medium within double quotation marks. And for result two, enter two. For value 3, type critical within double quotation marks. And for result 3, enter 1. For the default value, type not found within double quotation marks. This ensures that if no match is found, Excel returns not found. Close the bracket and press enter. Now, we have assigned a weightage of 3 for high priority orders, 2 for medium, and 1 for critical orders. Now, let's explore a different approach using switch. In this table, we have two columns, order ID and profit. We will create a new column called profit status, which categorizes profit ranges. Select a blank cell in the profit status column, type equal, enter switch, and double click on the function. For expression, type true. This allows us to create a range-based condition. For value 1, select the profit value, then type greater than 100. For result 1, type above 100 within double quotation marks. For value 2, select the profit value, then type greater than 50. For result 2, type 50 to 100 within double quotation marks. For the default value, type below 50, close the bracket and press enter. Now, drag the formula down for the entire profit status column. We have successfully created a profit status column that categorizes profits as above 100 if the profit is greater than 100, 50 to 100 if the profit falls between 50 and 100, below 50 if the profit is less than 50, the switch function simplifies conditional logic, making formulas easier to read and maintain. It's a great alternative to nested IF statements. It helps categorize data quickly and efficiently. Let's break down the filter function structure. Here is the syntax. First array, this is the data range that will be filtered. Second, include. Here is to set the condition telling exactly what to look for to filter the data. Finally, if empty, this is optional. This is the message or value to display if no match is found. We have a data set with four columns, order ID, order priority, order date, and shipping cost. Now let's apply the filter function to extract data dynamically. Click on a blank cell where you want the filtered data to appear. 
type equal, enter filter and double click on the function. For array, select the entire dataset. For include, select the order priority column, type high within double quotation marks, then insert a comma. For if empty, type not found within double quotation marks. Close the bracket and press enter. This will return all rows where the order priority is high. Now for the include operator, if we replace high with medium, the function will return all rows where order priority is medium. To filter with multiple conditions, where shipping cost is greater than 4 and the order priority is high. We have to provide two conditions inside separate brackets in the include operator. One will be the order priority is equal to high. Then insert an asterisk, then the shipping cost is greater than 4. It returns all the rows where priority is high and the shipping cost is more than 4 US dollars. Again, if we want to filter based on either condition, which is OR logic, instead of asterisk, you should insert plus sign here. It returns all the rows where shipping cost is more than 4 or the order priority is high. The filter function helps extract data dynamically based on single or multiple conditions, making data analysis faster and more efficient. It works better than manual filtering or auto filter. Let's check out the sum functions. Here is the function structure. Range, the data range or cell references that will be summed up. Structure of SUMIF function. Let's break it down. First, range, the range where the condition will be applied. Second, criteria. This is where the condition will be given to filter the range. Then, sum range, the range of values that will be summed up. Function structure for SUMIF's function. First, sum range. This is the range of values to sum up. Then, criteria range 1. This is the first where the condition will be applied. Then, criteria 1. This is the first condition to determine which rows to filter from the criteria range 1. Similarly, criteria range 2 and criteria 2. These are the optional pairs. These are additional range and conditions that will be used if required. Our dataset consists of three columns, region, order priority, and shipping cost. Now, we will calculate the total shipping cost using SUM, the shipping cost of West region, with the help of SUMIF, and the shipping cost of East region, where order priority is medium using SUMIFs. Here, insert the SUM function. For the range, select the entire shipping cost column. Close the bracket and press Enter. It returns the total of shipping cost. Insert the SUMIF function. For range, select the entire region column. For criteria, type WEST within the double quotation, then give a comma. For some range, select the entire shipping cost column. Close the bracket. It returns the total shipping cost for the WEST region. Now, insert some ifs function. For some range, select the entire shipping cost column. For criteria range 1, select the region column. For criteria 1, type east within the double quotation. For criteria range 2, select the order priority column. For criteria 2, type medium within the double quotation. Close the bracket and press enter. It returns the total shipping cost for the east region where order priority is medium. Sum, SUMIF and SUMIFs make Excel calculations more efficient and help analyze data effortlessly. Use SUM for quick totals, SUMIF for condition-based summing and SUMIFs when applying multiple filters. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon 
so you don't miss out on our upcoming tutorials thank you for watching